More tonight about the station employee who police say opened fire at his workplace. Officers tell us he shot three people at the Terribles near Annie Oakley and Sunset, killing one of them. 13 Action News anchor Leslie Marine has more on the suspect's work history. They're running out of the Chevron gas station, out of the Lou place. Customers and employees running for their lives after shots ring out at this terrible gas station. We all ran in a bunch, and then when, when we got across the street, that's when we noticed he was bleeding. An employee who did not want to be named says he helped one of the three victims to safety. One of the guys that worked at the loop shop, he was bleeding. Both men running to a nearby medical supply store where a worker there was able to stop the victim's bleeding. I hope being the, the person we helped out is okay too. That was real scary, man. Back at the gas station, police quickly arresting 22-year-old Rafael Valdez, a current employee at the Terribles. Tonight, a source with Terribles telling us Valdez had no sort of complaints or issues at work. Coworkers we spoke to describing the gunman as friendly. I talked to everybody. He, was, he, was, he, he, was, he looked friendly to me. According to employees, Valdez had been working at the gas station for about a year. Some employees say he faced bullying at work, but sources say it was never mentioned to a manager. Tonight, workers at the gas station mourning the loss of one of their own. As investigators try to figure out what could have led Valdez to snap. I never thought he would do something like this. We have seen several employees visit the gas station tonight. Police have reopened the terribles here on Sunset in Annie Oakley. People can start picking up their cars and any belongings they may have left behind. As for Valdez, he does face open murder charges. Reporting from Henderson, Leslie Matting, 13 Action News. This is